everybody, it's Nikki here and welcome to a makeup video. So today's video is something that I've seen other people doing uh, in recent weeks and I thought, you know what, that's a bloody good idea. And it's products I want to pan in 2023. Now every year I do a makeup use up goal. Oh, there's alliteration. Um, and so basically I have here in my little notebook a list of each category and then I put a goal of how many in each category I want to use up and then the second column is for the actual amount of products that I use up and I do like a tally mark for that one. Uh, so if I use up one primer, I put one tally mark. If I use up two, I put a second tally mark and so on and so forth. Um, now, in the last few years, I've, I've just said I want to use up two primers, say, for example. I've not actually stipulated to myself which two primers I plan to use up, just that I want to use up two. Um, but I do remember maybe back in 2018 or 2019 or something, I did make a list of the products that I planned to use up within that year. And as I used up those products, I was able to cross them off the list. And I got a little bit of a, a buzz from doing that. And I do remember that back then my makeup use up was pretty good. Um, and in recent years, I've stopped making that actual list of products and I feel like I kind of lost my way a bit. So this year I've made the list. So we're going to go through it together and I'm going to show you all of the products that I plan to use up. Now there is, there is 49 products. I did think, should I add one more just to make it 50? But these were the things that I thought I could use up next year. I can't, I'm just going to leave it at the 49 <laughs> because I definitely have not used up 49 products this year. Um, so let's start off with primers. Um, I feel like I can only finish one next year from my collection, although recently I have got some samples, so that might change. But the one primer that I'm going to focus on next year is this e.l.f. Uh, Mineral Infused Face Primer. So it looks like this. Sorry, I'm fighting in the dark. Um, this is a silicon based primer. I thought from the packaging that it was going to be a glowy primer, but it isn't. It's a silicon based one. I discovered I'm not a fan of that. So um, I want to uh, use this up and get it out of my collection. For foundations, I want to use up two next year, or I feel like I could use up two. This is the thing. It's not that I want to use up two, I feel like I could use up two. Uh, the first one of those is actually uh, a tinted moisturiser. It's the number seven Hydroluminous Aqua Release Skin Perfector. And it looks like this. This is the tinted moisturiser that I use when I go out shopping um, and I'm going out of the house, basically. Because, you know, being an older woman, um, a fuller coverage foundation doesn't always sit the best on my skin. So a tinted moisturiser is perfect. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to babysit it when I'm out and about. Uh, so I do prefer to use a tinted moisturiser when I'm out shopping. Um, so I feel like I could, without even having to put this in a project pan, I feel like I could use this up just from leaving the house, basically. So that's the one of them. And then the second foundation I think I can use up next year is this L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I am in the shade 20, and um, which is ivory. And I'm already um, down to here. It wasn't a project pan previously, and I am currently down to here. So this one I tend to use for filming. I'm not wearing it today, but um, I'm actually wearing the tinted moisturiser today. Um, but this one I find can go pretty quickly. So um, I feel like I could work through this as I'm filming. 
Um, so yeah, I do feel like I could finish this one. That was actually a repurchase. I have had that foundation before and I really, really like the formula. Um, but I had the wrong colour previously. I had it in porcelain. I repurchased it in the ivory and I do feel like, although it's still slightly too light for me, I can kind of get away with it in filming because I just bronze up a bit. Um, so that's that. For concealer, um, I think I can only finish one. Um, I find it really hard to work through concealer because again, with my aging skin, I just put like a couple of dabs under my eyes, a very thin layer. So I feel like I can only finish the one. And the one I think I'm gonna finish is the Revolution Conceal and Define. And this one has already got some usage on it. We're already down to here. Um, yeah, I don't tend to go through concealer very quickly, so just the one concealer to work through. For setting powders, I feel like I might be able to work through two. I'm not 100% sure. These, these are hopes. I'm hoping that I can work through two. The first one of those is in this packaging here. Um, ignore the information on the top because it is not that product at all. This is actually a, a revolution setting powder from a face palette. Uh, there was a couple of shades. One was too light, one was too dark. Um, so I crushed them up into this 17 um, loose powder packaging. And um, yeah, I'm using that as a loose powder sort of thing. Um, it's about halfway full kind of just under halfway uh full so i'm hoping to get this finished up um so yeah that's that's one thing i want to do and then the other fa uh, face powder is actually a pressed powder and this is also a revolution powder but it is the bake and blot powder and the reason why i think this one uh could be easily used up is because there's only like five grams in here and um, I feel like that's um, not a lot of product um, and I could go through it pretty quickly. Um, I do have dry skin, but I still like to set my face with powder um, just because I feel like if I don't, then I'm always worried that my foundation is gonna shift about and, and stuff. So I do set my face with powder, even though I have dry skin. Um, I, I just prefer it for myself. So two face powders, I believe, I could finish in 2023. Uh, next for blush. Blush is hard because every year I set the goal of um, makeup use up as one, one blush, one bronzer and one highlighter because those three products are really hard for me to use up. And I don't think I'm going to finish any powder blushes in 2023. However, I do have this liquid blush from MAC. All of the information on it has rubbed off, but I think it was from their uh, Temptation Fate collection or something something to do with Temptation um, <laughs> collection. Um, last year, 2021, I think I bought this. Um, it's a really beautiful colour. I am wearing it today under a powder blush. Um, I really do like this. It's so beautiful on my skin. It's currently in a project pan at the moment for a usage goal, I believe. Um, but I, I do tend to wear this with the tinted moisturiser when I'm going out in public because, as I say, it's just a beautiful blush. Um, and, um, yeah, I really, really like it. I like these kind of cream blushes rather than like stick cream blushes. Um, so yeah, I, I really like this and I do feel like, I think I've used about half of it. Um, we're getting down into the thicker end of it. So it's probably going to take a lot longer than I expect it to, but this is a blush that I'm planning to finish in 2023. Um, moving on to bronzers. This one has to be finished next year. I have to focus on this bronzer next year. This is the L'Oreal Glam Bronze bronzer. And this is my oldest bronzer in my collection. And look, it still has that O and R indent on it. 
I have finished a whole Benefit, um, what's their bronzer called? Hula bronzer. And this one hasn't even had the indent taken off it. And this is my oldest uh, bronzer. It's even older than the hula bronzer that I used up. Why haven't I focused on this one before now? I'll never know. It is a gorgeous bronzer. I am wearing it today. Um, I need to finish this. I need to finish this blur this bronzer. It's so old in my collection now. I'd say it's probably five years old now. Um, so yeah, definitely it needs to be finished in 2023 or at least close to being finished. Um, I need to focus on this and this alone uh, in 2023 because it needs to go. It needs to go. So that's that one. For highlighters, I know I said that I think I can finish. I, I normally put a goal of just one highlighter every year, but I have this one. Ignore the packaging again, it's a Franken uh, product. This was in a project pan earlier this year and I managed to use up uh, a quarter of the pan here. The other half was already used up. So now I only have this little bit left. And I do feel like I could get this finished pretty reasonably quickie, quick, quickie? Uh, quickly, maybe like, it will take a couple of months. I'll tell you that now for free, um, but I do feel like I could easily finish this next year and I could just say that's it I'm done finished one I'll be happy with that but I kind of want to do this one as well this is um, a Laura Geller um, baked gelato swirl illuminator in gilded honey and it is only a small one so I feel like I could possibly finish this next year Again, if I was to focus on it, it's only small and I do really like the colour of this. Um, so yeah, I do think that I could finish both of those highlighters uh, next year. Okay, so moving on to lip liners. I have two lip liners that I want to finish next year. The first one of those is a Barry M lip liner and it is in the shade Blowout. It's getting uh, very um very hard now it's not as creamy as it used to be so i definitely want to get that one used up and then i also have this urban decay uh, 24 7 glide on lip pencil in cruise and again it's a pencil one this one needs sharpening ow that's scratchy um it's a bright sort of pinky purple um and again i just feel like it needs to be moving out of my collection um it needs a good sharpen that one um these lip liners have dried up on me in the past if i don't use them up pretty quickly uh so that's why i want to get those two used up as quickly as possible moving on to lipstick and lip crayons uh the first lipstick i want to move out of my collection is this damn thing this is a sample from uh kat von d or kvd um it was before it became kvd and it is a bright red lipstick like that not much of it left but i don't wear red lipstick i don't like the name of this underage red i mean come on no that just makes me feel sick so i want to get it out of my collection i don't want to have to say that name anymore in my collection um it just, it's, it, no. Um, moving on. Uh, I have four lipstick crayons, as I call them. The first one is from PS, which is the Primark brand. Now, this was a duo, and I have used up the lip liner side, so the lip liner side has been used up completely. But the actual lip crayon end still has a little bit of a nubbin. And um, this is very much my kind of colour um so it is there um and i definitely want to get this used up we're really fighting the dark now guys um the next one is from nars this is one of their lip pencils in do me baby what is it with these people naming their lipsticks um so there's that shade 
I hope you can see. Um, it is only a small one. I feel like I could easily get that finished as well. And then the other two are from Colourpop. I got these four years ago. Um, and so they definitely need using up. The first one is one of my favourites. It's Little Teens. And I don't have very much of this left. I only have that much. And I absolutely adore this shade. I have used this one the most out of all of my Colourpop lippy sticks. It's so nice. It goes well with that Cruise uh, lip liner from Urban Decay. And then the other one I want to use up is Ink Blot. Also from Colourpop, as I say. And this one, it has that separation thing. So it's gone a little bit white and chalky. Uh, which is that one and I really like this shade as well this one is really nice uh, to go with brown looks so that's that one so I feel with all of those uh, lip crayons lip lipsticks that I basically got all the color combinations I could need for the year um, to um, to get those done Okay, moving on to liquid lipsticks. Uh, I feel like I could finish three next year. And the reason being is that two have been in Project Pans this year. And I feel like there's not much left in the uh, product for each of these. Um, so I feel like I could possibly finish them up. They were both samples anyway. The first one is this Huda Beauty one in Wifey. Ooh, sorry, that went for a roll. So it is that shade. And the second one is this Lime Crime one in Cashmere. This is still in a project pan right now. And I'm trying to get the uses on it, but I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> And that is that one. It's more of a cool toned brown. And then the other liquid lipstick that I want to use up, I'm not sure I'm going to get this finished. But I want to focus on using this one next year because it is my oldest in my collection. It is a mini sleek matte me uh, liquid lipstick in the shade Old Hollywood, which you may recognise from my Zodiac Project Pan as uh, one of the shades of the nail polishes in that collection and I got this from the same advent calendar um, as the nail polish um, so I got it in 2019 so it's an old liquid lipstick um, and it's this deep maroon red shade which I absolutely love so I feel that with all of those lip products there I'm covered for practically any lip shade I want to do. So those are the three liquid lipsticks that I feel like I want to use up next year. On to lip gloss. I'm really fighting the light here, guys. Um, I feel like I could use up three next year. Uh, the first one is in a current project pan. It is my MAC Clear Lip Glass. Um, we are about halfway down. We're coming down into the thinner part of the tube uh, now so hopefully um, I will get this finished next year. I was hoping to have it finished this year but I don't think I started on it soon enough um, to have it finished so this actually lasts longer than I thought it would. I thought I would get through this pretty quickly um, hence why I didn't start it sooner in the year but um, yeah this lasts a long time. Um, it's quite a thick uh, lip um, lip gloss. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm hoping to get that finished next year. I will, of course, start using it a little bit earlier. One that is already in a project pan, so I feel like I could get this finished next year, um, is this uh, another MAC lip gloss. And this one is in Guilty of Trickery. So it is a beautiful sort of shimmery gold kind of lip gloss that's across my knuckles there so it's a very shimmery one i'm hoping to get a lot of use out of that over the christmas period 
um so there's that one um but i don't think i will finish it this year that's why i think it will be in for next year and then the third lip gloss i think i'm going to finish is this i heart revolution from marie uh i heart revolution in the marie uh nail polish it's not a nail polish it's a lip gloss and this one has like an iridescent kind of thing to it so it's across that knuckle there so it's like a pink iridescence okay i am actually going to stop the video here because the light has beaten me guys it's beaten me it's getting dark and it's only quarter past four and it's dark so um i am going to stop the video here and then i'm going to go into the other room where i have a bit better lighting um and um and film in there so i'll see you in a moment seconds for you moments for me i'll be right back okay i'm back i've changed locations i should have just filmed in here from the very start i have better lighting in here um i don't have a ceiling light in the other room um hence why it got dark um i just have a lamp and it wasn't great uh so we'll just finish filming in here i removed all the lip swatches thinking i'll remove that off my hand before i get covered in lipstick all over me and then i thought i should have left them on so i could actually show you the shades but never mind i hope you you you'll see those lip products coming in in project pans uh throughout 2023 most of these products will end up in some project pan throughout the year um so don't worry you'll get swatches again um so where were we we just finished on the lip glosses so uh lip balms i think i could finish two lip balms next year uh the first one of those is a lip smacker lip balm this one is in coca-cola vanilla vanilla um the reason why i think i could finish one of these is because i've actually finished one of these this year uh just from using it organically um and this one already has some usage on it um i'm not going to wind it all the way up but it does have some usage on it already um if i wind it down uh that's where it starts to um have the the thing come up through the middle so that's as much as i've used so far i hope you can see that um so i do feel like uh next year i could organically use this up as well um as i have done with the just the normal coca-cola one this year um just by having it in my bedside table it doesn't need to go into a project pan because i am using these organically anyway um but the other um lip balm that i want to use up next year and i'm gonna have to physically make a sort of mental um push to use this is my elf jelly pop lip balm um well it says luscious lip mask that's what it says um this comes with a little spatula um which i have in my drawer um and it's very much kind of like a tinted moisturizer um but it's a very thick sort of lip balm and lip mask um so i i think you're supposed to apply this sort of like at night time before you go to bed or something and then overnight your lips are nourished so that in the morning your lips are feeling good um i don't know i don't know how long you're supposed to have it on for no instructions came with this to be honest uh, well to be fair i took it out of its packaging threw the packaging away and didn't read it could have been instructions on there but stupid me didn't look so um if you know how to use these jelly pop uh, elf jelly pop luscious lip masks you know only leave it on for 15 minutes nicola not overnight let me know um because i don't want to be damaging my lips if i'm wearing this for too long um but yeah there's that um and i feel like i could use that up 
I'm trying to steer away from these pot type um, lip balms uh, now uh, because I don't like getting my fingers in them, which I like the fact that I got a spatula with this one. Um, I didn't choose this one, by the way, it came as a free gift in a elf surprise box. That's not free then, is it? I bought a surprise box, a mystery box from e.l.f. and that was in it. So that's how I got that one. Uh, for lip scrubs, I want to use up uh, another e.l.f. product. This is the e.l.f. lip scrub in cherry. I have that much. I should be better at using this more frequently. I only remember every now and again to use these. I have two of them, the cherry one and the coconut one. The cherry one I have started to use already, so that's why I decided to put this one um, as a product to focus on next year. Um, and once I've finished this one, I'll move on to the coconut one, but that's the one that I really want to finish next year. Okay, moving on to eyeliners. I have three eyeliners next year that I want to use up. The first one of those is a liquid eyeliner. It's my only liquid eyeliner. This is the Revolution Def Leopard. Um, put it the right way, Nicola. The Def Leopard eyeliner. On one end, it has this beautiful tip, which I find really, really good. Um, I've used a couple of uh, liquid eyeliners in the past, and I do like the ones with the long tapered uh, sort of um, tip to to apply because I'm not that great at applying liquid eyeliner. The other one has, I don't know if you can see that, but it has like a lightning strike um, stamp. I don't use that. <laughs> um, it was a bit of fun when I first got it to just, oop, little lightning. Um, but I don't tend to use that side. It's just the actual eyeliner that I use. Um, so I do want to try and use that up. This might be finished before we hit 2023. Um, I don't use it all the time when I do my eyes. I'm not wearing it today, for instance. Um, but it might dry up before then. So if it does, then obviously one done. Um, but, you know, I don't know how long I've got left on that is what I'm trying to say. Um, the other two are pencil eyeliners. The first one is one of my oldest. It's from Avon from their Mark range. And it is their the Big Gel Paint Pencil uh, in Cobalt. This is a gorgeous, stunning dark blue. Absolutely gorgeous. So pretty. Absolutely. Love, love, love this on my lower lash line, uh, especially when I'm doing a look like today, which is a very basic kind of brown bronzy look. Adding a little bit of this on my lower lash line just lets up my 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 kind of character come out because I'm I'm kind of like I look like I'm I'm normal, but and then I have a little bit of woohoo about me. Um, so yeah, uh, that's that one. And then the other one is just a plain black eyeliner. This is the Urban K 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner Pencil in Zero. It's just a beautiful creamy black. And uh, this one was just like um, a mini deluxe size. So I feel like I could get that finished in one year. Um, I've had it for a while now and I am aware that eyeliners like this can dry out very quickly if I don't use them up. Uh, so yeah, um, I want to use that one as well. Moving on to mascaras. Um, I do not stick to the three month in, three month um, and out kind of thing with mascaras because I don't wear mascara every day. I don't wear makeup every day. So I generally tend to uh, wear my mascaras for about six to nine months. So I generally use up two, possibly three mascaras a year. I do ten generally tend to wear two mascaras at a time, but sometimes um, I prefer one over the other. Now, this is the number seven Lash Impact Ultra uh, Mascara. So it's a very glittery one. I'm already got one of these. So this is my second of this mascara. I bought this mistakenly. I didn't realize that 
because this came in a box, which is why I hate the fact that this came in a box. Why does it need a box? It's it's already packaged. Like this is a package. Why are you packaging it in a box? That's unnecessary. Um, so, so yes, I mistakenly bought this without realizing it was the same mascara that I already own. Uh, that I got in a number seven Christmas gift set um, two years ago. Um, I don't like this mascara. I'm currently wearing it today and it transfers like buggery. Um, it's horrible. I hate it. No, I don't hate it. I dislike it. But I bought it, so I'm going to use it. Um, so this is not the one that I'm currently using. I'm hoping to have that one finished by the end of the year. So I want to be working on this one next year so I can get this one out of my collection and I will never ever purchase this mascara ever again because it transfers. It's it's not it's not great. Stay away from it. It transfers. Um this one is the Revolution Wispy Lash Feather Effect Mascara. It's actually still in its wrapping. It's still got its plastic wrapping on. Can you see that? Um, but this is the next oldest mascara in my collection. I don't have a lot of mascaras in my collection and I don't open them until I'm ready to use them. Um, so it is still in its packaging. Um, again, I don't see why it needs that, but okay. Um, but yeah. So that's the other one that I want to kind of partner with the uh, number seven one, um, hoping that this one will help the other one behave a little bit better. Uh, next, I'm hoping every year I say I want to use up one of my glitters or loose pigments. So far, I have used up zero. In all of the years that I've been project panning, I have never once finished a glitter or loose pigment. But I'm still going to try. <laughs> so this is the Barry M Fine Glitter Dust. This is the number 26. You may recognise it from my This Is Fantasy Project Pan Round 1 uh, because I did have this in that project for the majority of 2022. The reason why I'm putting this one as my one to finish is because because of that project pan, this one has had the most use. Um, so there's less in this one than there is in any of my other loose pigments. I only have something like five or six loose pigments, but this one has been the most used out of all of them. So I feel like if I could just focus in a bit more on this next year. Could I really get this finished within the year? Not likely, but I would be closer to finishing this one than if I picked any of the others. I do have a couple of my other loose pigments in uh, project pans at the moment, but again, I, I still feel like if I was to finish any of them, it would be this one, especially as because it is that beautiful mermaidy green colour, which is my kind of colour. So, so pretty. I'll see if I can give you a swatch of it. Uh, let's see if we can do this. It's not the greatest swatch, but there you go. That's what it looks like. It... It can look better than that, believe you me. Um, that's just a very thin swatch. Um, but yeah, I really do feel, um, I want I don't wanna tip this up too much, but there you go, that's how full it is. But the others are like right to the top. So um, as I say, there's a lot in here. Do I really think I could finish this in a year? Not likely, but it is the one that I have the best chance to finish. So that's that one. Next one, uh, we have three cream eyeshadows that I feel like I could possibly finish this year. Uh, next year, sorry, in 2023. <sighs> I finished one this year. Who do I think I am finishing three next year? I don't know. Uh, but the first one, it 
could be, uh, could be finished. This is the MAC uh, Painterly Paint Pot. Um, so I use this as an eye base. As you can see, I've already hit pan on this in a project. I am working the sides now. So this side is quite thin compared to the other sides, as you can see there. Um, so I do use this as like an eye base. Um, so I could technically finish this one next year um, because of the way that I use it, because I can use it in every eye look I create. The next one is already in a project pan to finish. I don't think I'll get it finished before the end of December. Um, so I feel like I could possibly finish it next year. There's a lot of usage on this one. This is Colourpop's Super Shock Eyeshadow in Birthday Wish, which was their fourth birthday um, Super Shock Eyeshadow. Um, and they recently celebrated their eighth birthday. So you, that tells you how old my Colourpop uh, Super Shock eyeshadows are. Uh, any of my Colourpop uh, products are all four years old now. Uh, so I need to start moving them out. But yeah, there's not a lot of this left. I like to use this one over the lids. It's an absolutely stunning colour. You can see it that way. There. Um, but also this one is really, really great as like a highlighter as well. Um, and that's how I use the majority of this up as an as a highlighter. And sometimes in the summer, I'll put it over my shoulders as well. Um, so I'm hoping that I can get this one finished next year. So that's that one. And then the third one, I feel like next year is the year to finish my Colourpop Super Shock eyeshadow in Issa. It's time to get this one finished so I can start on my brand new backup of this. I did get a backup given to me by a friend um, and this one started has started to dry out so I've had to add Duraline to it. Um, again, this is such a stunning colour. It's drying up again. Oh, it's going to need some more Duraline. Um, but it is this gorgeous purple flash blue kind of colour. Absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I feel like next year has to be the year to finish this up um, because otherwise it's just not going to be usable uh, as of the end of next year. So that's three uh, cream eyeshadows that I want to finish up next year. Then I have two eyeshadow sticks. Seriously, I don't know who I am. Two eyeshadow sticks. Yes. It's going to happen next year. <sighs> the bane of my existence. But oh my God, I'm going to miss this when it's gone. The number seven Stay Perfect Shade and Define Eyeshadow Stick in Gunmetal Grey. We're, we're, we're so close. We're so close, guys. <laughs> I seriously don't think I'm going to have this finished by the end of December. <sighs> it's going to have to be next year. But oh my God, next year, guys, this thing is leaving my collection once and for all. This is going to be my top priority to finish. Not because I don't like it, but because it is one of my oldest shadow sticks in my collection. But my goodness, look at that shade. Look at that gorgeousness. Oh. I am going to miss this when it goes. It is one of my favourite eyeshadow sticks. And this thing does not budge. I've used the e.l.f. No Budge Shadow Eye Sticks. Not, not, not a thing to this. The number seven uh, shade and define eye pencils are just... They're the god tier of eyeshadow sticks for me. Um, e.l.f. doesn't even come close. Um, I have had this for years and this has stayed creamy it doesn't crease on me it doesn't budge on me and i have watery eyes it doesn't move the elf ones they rub off so easily and i have had one break on me as well recently so um and this one has never broken on me um and i've had it for years so um yeah it has got to go, but I'm going to miss it so, so much. It could be a potential for a repurchase next year. 
um, because I just love that shade. It's so gorgeous. I hope they still do this. If they don't, I'm going to cry. Um, but yeah, um, this has got to go next year just because it's so old. And then the other one also has to go because it's one of my oldest and it's the Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil from NYX. We've all had one of these, I think, in our collection at some point or another. Um, it's it's so small now, it really does have to go. Um, I do use my cream eyeshadows as like eye bases. Um, so yeah, it just, it just has to go, basically. Um, so that's that. Did I miss brows? I did, I did miss brows. Uh, for my brows, there's only one product I think I can finish next year, and that is the Essence Make Me Brow. Uh, this is the brow gel in, which, which shade are you? Brownie brows. Um, I feel like this one is a little too dark for me. I prefer the other one, uh, which is a lighter version of this one. Um, so when I go back to repurchase this brow gel, because it is one of my favourite brow gels, I will get the lighter version of this. Um, I, I feel like this one is just a little too dark for me, uh, especially as I'm getting greyer in my old age. Um, so yeah, I feel like this is the only kind of brow product I might get finished next year. I am so slow using up brow products, um, that I feel like this is the only one that I'm going to finish next year. And one of the reasons for that, guys, I'm, I'm crazy. I'm, I'm crazy for doing this, I know, but my goal for next year is to finish 10 eyeshadow pans. This year, guys, I finished one. One eyeshadow pan. That's it. Tell a lie. Three. I've recently finished another two. You'll see where very, very soon. But next year, next year, guys, I'm going to finish 10 eyeshadows. <laughs> I don't know who I think I am. I think I'm Rebecca or or um, or Alexandra uh, from uh, their channels because I, I, I they eat their eyeshadow. I swear. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I'm gonna try and use finish completely ten eyeshadows. The first one of those or first three eyeshadows are in this Avon palette uh, which was in the shade Eau Naturelle. It was in a previous project pan and I finished one of the shades that was in here. It was like a cream shade and I finished that one up and then as you can see I have two pans in these two shades because I was using them in my brows. Yes, um, I prefer to use a powder in my brows. I don't know why, it's, I just prefer it. I feel like I can do a bret a better, a better brow technique um, when I use uh, a brush and powder rather than when I'm using an eyeshadow pencil. Um, so I want to finish all three of these eyeshadows in this uh, palette. I want to continue to use these two shades in my brows in 2023, but then also try and finish this one as well. Just using it like in my crease um, as an eye look. Um, I really, really want to focus on finishing this palette next year. There's only three shades. Surely, surely I can finish them in one year using them uh, in my brows and as eyeshadow looks as well. <sighs> wish me luck guys, wish me luck. I'm pushing it, I'm really pushing it, I know I am, I know I am. Uh, the next three eyeshadows, 10, remember, we're trying to move 10 out of my collection, is uh, from this I Heart Revolution Heartbreakers palette in the shade Lucky. Uh, you will have seen this before, it was in a project pan previously and I hit three pans in here. Uh, in these three shades here. Now, if you look closely at those pans, you will see that they have quite big dips in them, as well as that pan. And I just feel like 
these were so easy to use that you know if I really focused on these throughout the year I feel like I could finish them I feel like I could easily finish those three ooh, wrong ones that one that one and that one I feel like I could finish those pans they already have pan in them so I could finish them uh, so that is my goal for that palette as well you may see this come in in a uh, project pan or or shop my stash is coming back to my channel um there you go sneaky peek for you and then last but not least this palette this is the sleek eye divine palette in the ultra mattes version 2 darks this is one of my oldest palettes now i believe um and it currently looks like this so again, I have four pans in this palette and I feel like, again, uh, especially these two lighter shades here, they could be used to like set my eye base so I could easily get those two used up uh, like that, including the white. Actually, I could probably get the white used as like a brow bone highlight or something. Um, and then this shade is good for like darkening up the crease or something with those Avon shades maybe and then this grey one I feel like if I partnered that with the number seven eye pencil uh, that would make a beautiful like smoky eye look for me um, so I feel like I could finish one two three four pans in this palette as well possibly a fifth but I'm not counting that in the ten that I think I can finish next year <sighs> Can I do it? I don't know. I finished three this year and two of those. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, who do I think I am? I don't, I, I don't know. I really don't. I'm going to try, guys. I'm going to try. Um, God loves to try. So the next category is setting sprays. Now, I looked at my collection. I don't have many setting sprays, okay? I don't have very many at all. And setting spray is not something that I really push to use up because I don't have very many. Um, but I do feel like I could finish three next year. Uh, the first one, simple. I can, I can knock these out really quickly, but I try not to. This is an Urban Decay all nighter setting spray it is one of the uh, mini deluxe sizes that you get it's like a free gift with purchase sometimes um i have another one of these that i recently got when when i made a purchase um so i this i now have two of these in my collection so i feel like i can use one of them up next year i tend to only use this when I'm going somewhere where I really want my makeup to stay. So if I'm going out for the night, going to the cinema or going for a meal somewhere or doing something special, I will use the all nighter because it's it supposedly has a better lasting power um, to set your makeup and make it stay than some of my other setting sprays. So I do think I can easily finish that one up just for from socializing basically uh the next one i think i can use up is this elf uh illuminating mist and set setting spray um i'm already sort of down to here where this um lip of the bottle is um and generally this is my whenever i wear makeup to film or uh to do anything with i will use this one um I'll be using this to wet my sponge and things like that or my makeup brushes if I want to foil an eyeshadow. This will be like my everyday kind of, well not everyday because I don't wear makeup every day, but my sort of generalised one that I use more frequently. So this will be used up just from organically using it uh, whenever I wear makeup. And then the third one I think I'm going to finish is this number seven Hydroluminous hydrating fixing mist this one has a beautiful fine mist it is it's so fine you're like 
is this actually spraying anything at my face because you don't feel a thing but I can tell you this I got this the back end of our summer this year and it had such a cooling effect on those hot days that we were having here in the UK so I feel like rather than using this as a setting spray <laughs> this might be used during the summer here in the UK next year because if we keep having heat waves in our summers as we have been having in the last few years I feel like I'm going to fly through this uh, trying to cool myself down so yeah I don't feel like I'm going to be using this as a setting spray <laughs> more so as a cooling down spray during the summer months so yeah that is this one okay and our last category it's nail polish nail polish so i have uh five nail polishes next year uh for next year that i think i can finish um i am not including any of the nail polishes that i have in my current zodiac project pan polish um or project pan um uh, in this five uh, mainly because the goal of the zodiac project pan for me is not to finish any of those polishes uh just to use them 12 times however i do feel like some of them might be finished or almost finished uh by the end of the project but if they are that's kind of like a bonus for me rather than uh, I'm physically trying to use them up so um, so I've picked five other nail polishes that I feel like I could finish next year two of them are full sizes but they've already got some usage on them the first one is from Avon from their Mark range and this is um, a mineral crush um, nail polish in pearl and as you can see, we are currently down to here. This is a gorgeous nail polish. It is jam-packed with these silver um, glitters in here. So, so gorgeous. So reflective on your nails. Um, it does leave a little bit of a texture on your nails, so a good top coat will help that out. But oh my god it is a gorgeous nail polish so pretty um and i do like to add this to my manicures just to add a bit of zing to them um so yeah i feel like i could finish this one the next one also has some usage it's slightly separating at the top there this is a maybelline color show uh nail polish in tutti frutti I've been combining this with some of the um, nail polishes in my Zodiac Project Pan. So I'm already down to here. This is a uh, a topper. This, this does not get opaque on its own. Um, but this one leaves a beautiful, like, cloudy effect on the nails with this beautiful, uh, shiny, silvery, purple uh, shimmer on the top as well absolutely gorgeous i really really like this nail polish um and yeah i want to try and finish this off i feel like i could because as i say it's a topper so i can always top it um over any other nail polish um and get some use out of it the other three nail polishes are all minis the first one i'm going to cry when this leaves my collection but i feel like if i don't use it now um, it's going to get thick and gloopy and I don't want this to go to waste because it is such a gorgeous, gorgeous nail polish. It is the Mavala uh, di um, Pure Diamond nail polish. Look at it. Look at that. That's just... Oh, it's just... Oh. Yeah. I, I'm just going to leave you. I want to finish that off because, as I say, I don't want it to go thick and gloopy on me and go to waste. 
because it's that gorgeous. It is that gorgeous. Wow. Um, okay, the other two are some mini nail ink nail polishes. So the first one is this sort of um, purpley blue one. It's coming across as blue on the screen, but um, it is more of a like a dark purple. Um, but this one is in the shade, uh, what is this? Old Bond Road, I think, Old Bond Road. So I feel like I could finish this one. Um, not easily, but I feel like, you know, maybe a dozen manicures and this could be done. Uh, so yeah. And then the other one is another mini nails ink and this one is more of a metallic shade. So really, really pretty. Um, and this one is in King's Road. Um, so yeah, again, I feel like a dozen manicures of this and, um, and I could have that finished as well. In fact, I could probably do a, a combination of the two of those in one manicure and get them finished up. Um, so yeah, that is all of the products that I am hoping to finish in 2023, some way or another, either through organic use of me just using them whenever, or through putting them in project pans. So look out for these products coming uh, to a project pan near you uh, sometime in 2023. Wish me luck because, boy, am I gonna need it with some of these products. I really, I don't, I, to be honest, if I'm being realistic with myself, there are a couple of things in this list that I'm looking at going, yeah, never gonna happen. But the optimist in me is like, at least gonna give it a try though, you know? So yeah, that is my 49 products that I plan to pan in 2023. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye!